there are two bones of the pectoral girdle which attach the arm to the axial skeleton, the clavicle or collarbone, and scapula or shoulder bone. The clavicle is on the anterior surface of the skeleton and has a knobby sternal end which articulates with the sternum and a flat acromial end which articulates with the acromium of the scapula. The scapula is roughly triangular in shape with a superior angle facing superiorly and an inferior angle facing inferiorly. The three borders of this triangular bone are termed the medial or vertebral border, the lateral or axillary border, and the superior border. On the posterior of the scapula is the prominent spine. The depression above the spine is known as the supraspinous fossa. The depression inferior to the spine is known as the infraspinous fossa. There is also a depression on the anterior surface, and since the spine is not located here, there is no word spine in its name. It is the subscapular fossa. The socket, where the head of the humerus articulates, is composed of the glenoid cavity, which comprises the lateral angle of the scapula, and then the acromium, which is continuous with the spine of the scapula, and the coracoid process.